Welcome back. It was a surprise to many. President Obama wins this year's Nobel Peace Prize. The Nobel Committee said it gave the president the prize for his diplomacy, but nominations for the award were submitted just two weeks after he took office. Joining us with more is political analyst Tom Serap, and quite a stunner this morning. What achievements do you think um, in foreign affairs merit this kind of an award? Well, you know, the British press is all over this this morning, and the Times is saying this diminishes all the awards of the past, people like Nelson Mandela and Mother Teresa. I mean, it's in a, if you just say you're for peace in the world without accomplishing it, you probably can win the Nobel Prize today based on this award. I mean, the, the uh, go ahead. No, no, I just want to read what this article said because it really highlights what you just said. Rather than recognizing concrete achievement, the 2009 prize appeared intended to support initiatives that have yet to bear fruit. For instance, reducing the world's stock of nuclear arms, easing American conflicts with Muslim nations, strengthening the U.S. role in combating climate change. So it's it's more of a, a promise that's coming? Well, remember, this is named after the man that invented dynamite, and this is a peace award. So uh, <laughs> he, 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 there's a lot of ironies here. It's really an award uh, as far as the Norwegians are concerned, I think, to this country, because uh, the nominations closed two weeks after he became president. And he hadn't done anything the first two weeks of his presidency to, to be uh, nominated for the, uh, the Peace Prize. So this is really an award to the American people for getting rid of, most people think, uh, George Bush, who wasn't a very good president, uh, according to many people in the world. Some people still think he was a very good president. History will be the defining moment on that. But I think this is an award to the American people for electing Barack Obama, who's made an effort to kind of bring people together, and he has on the national, international stage, made an effort in bringing people together. He hasn't gotten there yet, um, and I think he's probably a bit embarrassed by the award because, you know, you need something tangible here to show the rest of the world that there's a reason for it. So I think he's going to, when he accepts this award, he's going to probably make it in a larger context, in a, in a global perspective, saying, We've got some opportunities here. Let's try to continue to talk on the national, international stage. America's willing to listen. Do you think the fact that Obama went to Copenhagen to try and win the Olympic bid for the United States came up empty, and then he was so criticized here in our country by many as not coming through for this country, that this was a factor in why over in Europe they decided, let's give him something so we didn't give him the other? Well, <laughs> those are a lot of dots that need to be You're attached. You're right. I uh, think so, too. Uh, you know, there's some. There's. I've, I read something in in one of the. I think it's the Wall Street Journal this morning that might have suggested something like that, but th that's a that's a reach. I think. I mean, these kind of decisions are you know talked about and made behind closed doors over a longer period of time. That might have been the catalyst to well, push but, it over the edge. Yeah, but think about this though. We just lost the Olympics last Friday. Did they right. vote between Friday and and when the award? Well, they was just announced? announced it today. So, so uh, when was it, the vote? It, yeah, that, that, I don't know when the vote was. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. this, they could vote right up to the last minute because it's a smaller committee. It's not one of those situations five where, people, you, right? yes, where you have world congresses that get together. This is a small uh, group of uh, insiders that make those decisions based on what their intentions are in the world. Uh, so that could have been a, you know, that could have been something. Right. Do you think it's a plus? Uh, you think Obama can use this as a plus? You're talking about him being oh, a little he, bit embarrassed, oh, yes. but I mean, he certainly um, would be happy to get it. Oh, nonetheless, it's right. a great shield to, uh, it's, to, to it's carry. It's still considered by many to be a, a very prestigious mm -hmm. award. It's a great shield to carry and remember he, he, he's the president of the United States. Uh, he's got the bully pulpit and all of a sudden now uh, he's recognized by the world community, the elites in the world community, as the winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. Look what it did for uh, guys like Al Gore. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, Henry Kissinger was, uh, you know, given the uh, uh, the Peace Prize during the Vietnam War, even though the war continued to wage and uh, right. Right. A, a lot of people died. And he was kind of the architect of what happened in the Cambodia killing fields uh, following that. And he said, this is really an award for the anticipation or the promotion or the appearance of wanting to go after peace, not necessarily making peace. I mean, we don't have peace anywhere in the world right now. Well, right. Let's, he's the fifth president, just very quickly, the third sitting president, Theodore Roosevelt, 1906, Woodrow Wilson, 1919, along with Jimmy Carter and Al Gore, who have since received the Nobel Peace Prize. Right. Thanks along for coming with in. Nelson Mandela and Dalai Lama. I mean, there's some big names right. in there, as well as controversial names. Mm -hmm. So right, it's an interesting right. group. Thanks so much. Thank you.